Welcome to Quarantine with Clark, the show that asks West Dive Station staff questions kids really want to know, and some they probably don't. I'm your host, Mr. Clark, and today my guest is Mrs. Edick, one of our marvelous third grade teachers. Mrs. Edick, welcome to the show, and how Hi. are you doing today? I am great. How are you, Mr. Clark? I I'm doing well, thank you. Good. So I just want to ask you a few easy questions just to let the kids of West Dodge Station get to know you just a little bit better, okay? Okay. All right. So first, where were you born and raised? I was born and raised here in Omaha my whole life. Nice. Um, do you have any brothers and sisters? I do. I have a younger brother, Mitchell, who is 29. And that's it. It's just me and him. All right. Um, do you have any kids? I do. I have a daughter, Ellison, who is four, and a son, Palmer, who is 18 months. So you are very, very busy right now. Very busy. My students know that they like to make a guest appearance every now and then in our Zoom calls, but yes, very busy. I like that. You say guest appearances because they are obviously wanting yeah. the camera. They, Palmer especially, really likes to be seen in the camera. So he's a frequent flyer in our Zoom meeting. I, I think I've gotten some, some, uh, some camera time with, with Palmer. Yes. Do you have any pets at home? I do. Um, I have a schnoodle. So he's a schnauzer poodle mix, and his name is Oliver. And he also keeps us very busy. I'm sure. Um, what about hobbies? Do you have any hobbies? Um, is taking care of my children a hobby? Uh, it probably has become a hobby for you since you've been <laughs> home, yes. Um, I really like to read. I love to garden and be outside when it is nice out, so I'm really glad that it's finally springtime. Um, what else do we like to do? I mean, the park, the zoo, all of those things are places we love to go. Um, but yeah, I'd say those two are the top of our list or my list of hobbies. Awesome. So what has been the most exciting moment in your life, not counting getting married and having children? That's hard. Um, recently, Mr. Edick and I bought a house that we needed to completely renovate. And so since August of last year, 2019, we have been um, totally renovating and gutting a whole new house so that brings a lot of challenges and a lot of excitement in our life but I'd say that's that's a big thing that we've accomplished and um been working on yeah as I said that's that's a huge I remember you talking about that and everything that you've had to do since uh since going through that yeah. um what about hidden talents do you have any hidden talents um no <laughs> Um, hidden talents, maybe, no, clearly I need to be more exciting. I know, I can't, well, I played the cello when I was younger, um, oh, there we go. but I don't know that I was any good at it, um, so yes. the, the, some of the other staff members, we might have to get together and, and have a little jam session because we've had guitar players, piano players, singers, dancers, and now you play the cello. So um, we might have to- I, I mean, I would use play the cello loosely because that was like when I was in fifth grade band. <laughs> so clearly I need to get um, better at something now that I'm much older than fifth grade, so. <laughs> That, that, yeah, might have to practice a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> All right. All right. Other than teaching, what job would you really, really want to do? Um, I have two. I would really love to be a children's book author. I think that would be super fun to do, especially in retirement someday. Um, but what I've always really wanted to do is open up basically a farm and rescue animals that need it, like all kinds of animals, cows and dogs and cats and goats and anything that needs a new home and some loving. That's what I would love to do. Mrs. G and I actually are gonna do this together someday. So that's our plan. 
That would be awesome. And uh, you know what? I would come work for you too. And I'm, I guarantee my wife would too, because we all love animals so much. I would take all the help I can get because the other thing is I know nothing about taking care of horses and cows and those <laughs> kinds of animals. So I need to learn a lot before that happens, but that would be my dream job. So you might want to Google some of that and just to see <laughs> how to do that. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, growing up, what was the strangest or the oddest job that you had? Um, I worked at um, a pool snack shack, like a country club snack shack when I was in high school. And my job was to work the grill. So I spent all of my days making fried corn dogs and pretzels and those kinds of things. And I would come home and I would just smell awful, like fried food and sweat. And it was just gross. So I don't know that I would ever choose to do that again. That's, that's actually, that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Getting into some of the good ones now. Do you sing loudest in the shower, in the car, or both equally as loud? In the car, definitely. Um, yeah, it's not really my, like I don't like listening to other people sing live and a lot of my friends know that. Um, I, I know that. So I choose not to torture people that way with my own singing because it's not great. And so I choose to do it in the privacy of my car. So you are a windows up type of singer. <laughs> Correct, yes, <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> okay. All right, what is your go-to song when singing karaoke? And you have to have one. Everybody's got a, a go-to song. Like I said, I don't torture people with singing out loud, so karaoke is not my thing. Um, but, I mean, I'm really good at Let It Go because that's my daughter's favorite movie is Frozen. So I would say Let It Go is, is what I can rock out to. Kind of the Kristen Bell type of voice. There you go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Superpower, able to fly or invisibility? I think invisibility. And I don't know why. I'd want both, actually. But I think <clears throat> invisibility would be fun because you could really scare people that way. You could just like <laughs> pop yeah, out of nowhere. You definitely could. I know. And we've been reading Harry Potter and I feel like having an invisibility cloak would be awesome. That would be perfect. That fits yeah. perfectly with that superpower. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to get into the lightning round. I'm going okay. to ask you questions very quickly. You have to answer as quick as you possibly can. Um, all the questions are about your favorite things, and so it should be rather easy. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. What is your favorite food and drink? Ooh. You really like uh, donuts and Dr. Pepper. Okay. Probably not together. Not, yeah, I wouldn't think so. What is your favorite word? Flabbergasted. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I know. I wasn't even prepared for that answer. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what is I your don't know favorite? where that came from, actually. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I, woo. <laughs> what is your favorite sound? Um, my kids laughing together. Nice. What is your favorite smell? Ooh. Um, laundry. Okay. What is oh, no. your favorite? No, no, no. I changed my mind. Can I change my mind? Absolutely. Okay. Fresh cut grass. I love that smell. Nice. Yes. Okay. Uh, although laundry smells good too, but. It does. I like both of them, but I think grass is like right a little bit above the laundry smell. That, that makes sense. <laughs> what is your favorite type of music? Um, I kind of like everything, a little bit of everything. Uh, maybe not like hard metal. Sorry, okay. Mr. Clark. I, um, heavy metal fan. I mean, yeah, I like heavy, that. hard, any of those things. Um, can we take that part out of there? That was weird. No, we can't. Stop it. Editing okay. doesn't work. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think a little bit of everything, mostly country music, but kind of a mix of all of it. All right. Your favorite place to visit? Um, I love the beach. Every year um, we go to Okaboji and we spend a week up in Okaboji and that is one of my favorite places. Just a slower pace and um, yeah, it has lots of good memories for me. 
Perfect. And finally, your favorite fifth grade teacher named Clark. Clark. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> <laughs> Clark. Clark. That's my answer. Oh. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> well done. We have just a couple more questions before we wrap things up. First of all, what are you doing to beat the boredom of our social distancing while we're away from school? Um, we'll chase after my two little ones. That is definitely how I'm filling a lot of my time. Um, but like I said, we have our new house that continues to still have a lot of projects and we have a lot of yard work to do. And so we've spent most of our days outside doing those things. Awesome. And finally, what would you like to say to the kids of West Dodge Station? Ooh, this is hard. How long do I have? Uh, um, as long as you want. Okay. Um, I think what I would like to say to them is that we, I miss you more than we could ever really put into words. I feel like this is not at all how we planned for the rest of our year to go. Um, but one thing I will say, I am extremely proud of my students and how well they have adapted to this change and taken on all the new things that I never thought I'd really have to do with them. So um, yeah, I miss them, I love them, I hope they're doing well, and I cannot wait to give them a big old squeeze come whenever that gets to be. So, yeah. Fantastic. Well, I just wanna give a huge thank you to Mrs. Edick for joining me today. Uh, come visit me again next time on Quarantine with Clark. See you soon. <laughs>